What's going on everyone? I'm super excited to be making this video today because I have come across a way to bind the stall mechanic without needing the steam configuration or any kind of third party programs. Now this is pretty big because those two previous things a lot of people think that they cause input lag, myself included. So this new method that doesn't need either of those things is completely input lag free as far as my testing has shown me. I've been using it for the past few days and it has been just fantastic. There is one unfortunate thing. This method is PC only and I'm not 100% sure about the Epic version. I am doing this on the Steam version. I have not tried it on the Epic. I would imagine that it should work, but I can't say 100%. If there's a lot of people having issues with the Epic version, I might be willing to download an Epic version and try and see if I can figure it out, but that's just if there's demand for it. So without any further delay, let's just get right on into the first step. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find wherever your documents folder is. And if you don't know how to find that, the easiest way to do it is just to go down to this bottom left here, just type in documents and it'll, it should pop right up. Once you're in your documents, you're going to want to scroll down for a little bit until you find my games. Go ahead and click on that. It'll open it up to a lot of your Steam games and Rocket League should be in there somewhere. Go ahead and click on it. All right, you should have two folders here. You might have more depending on if you have some kind of weird view or whatever, but the one you're looking for is TA game. And then you're going to have a bunch right here. You're going to be looking for config. And then you should get a few more settings. And then the one you're looking for is the one that says TA input. These, uh, these other two, you don't have to worry about just the TA input. You're going to go ahead and open it up with whatever you use to edit files of this sort. It can be anything. All right. So once you get into the TA input, it should look a little something like this. Uh, you're going to scroll down for a little while. And once you start seeing PC bindings, you'll know that you're close to where you need to be. This is what we're looking for, gamepad bindings. So I am going to scroll down just a little bit to make it a little easier. And now I'm where it says gamepad bindings and then it says steam input bindings. So anywhere down here, I'm just going to go to this line right here, where it says the editor redo line. I'm going to click behind it, hit enter a few times just to give me some space, scroll back up, and now I'm going to paste these three lines of code, and I will have these lines of code in my description, so all you have to do is copy and paste it just like I did. Now that you have that, you have to decide which button on your controller you want the stall binding to be on, and the way that you bind that is this line right here, where it says Xbox Type S. I have mine set to the Xbox button B which on PS4 is circle, but you can set that binding to whichever button on the controller you want. It doesn't have to be B or circle. And the way that you figure out which name you need to use for the button you're wanting is by scrolling up a little ways above PC bindings. All right, and once you see this scale form key map, you've made it. All of these lines here are the names for the buttons on the controller. So, for example, let's just say you want to use, uh, I know one spot that a lot of people have is L1. Uh, so the actual name that you would have to use is all this. It has a start from the Xbox Type S, you go all the way over uh, to here before the equal sign. And you just copy that. You don't need any of this. All you need is this first part that we highlighted before the equal sign. And you go all the way back down. Once you have that copied, you go all the way back down to where we just were. And you're going to do this. You're just going to highlight over this whole thing I have that's inside these two quotations. Where it says key equals. You're going to highlight inside it. And just paste it in there. That yours will say Xbox Type S and then underscore left shoulder. And you're going to do that for all of these. You're going to change yours to this. I said it had the B there and it's going to have the B here as well. And then I'm changing it to the left shoulder. So you'll have three lines that have left shoulder somewhat kind of close together. And that's because you're binding jump, roll right, and y'all left. You're binding all of that to the same exact button, which is whichever button you pick. Okay, now that you have which button you want bound, you're going to go ahead and save this uh, file. But if your settings are like mine, this is going to happen when you try to save it. And that's because this file is set to read only mode. Okay, now the easiest way to change that would be come back to the screen. Just leave your leave your notepad and leave it uh, minimized. Come back to the screen where you clicked on TA input originally. Right click on it. Go to your properties. And then right here, read only. I'm going to click that. Or you're going to uncheck it, sorry. Make sure it's not checked at all. Apply it. 
And then you're gonna reopen. You're gonna reopen your thing and save it now. And it'll save, no issues. When Once that star on the top left by the, the file name goes away, you know that it's saved. If that little dialog box doesn't open back up, you're good to go now. Now that that actually did save, I do recommend going back and putting it back to read only. Go ahead and apply it. Your settings still should be saved whenever you open it back up. Let's just scroll down to see if we can still see where I put that. And there it is. It looks a little different because I'm not in full screen mode, but that is what we just did. And if I full screen it, it would just be the three lines again, so don't, don't get uh, worried about that. Okay, now that that file is saved and we have our binding set, let's see if it works. And it does. If I, you can tell by my controller overlay that all I'm doing is... Well, actually, it looks a little weird on the controller overlay because... And this is why. I'll, I'll show you why. So now, I, ha I do have jump set to my X button. I'm on PS5 controller. It is set to X, but because we changed those uh, the file, we, we changed the binding in that file, it's going to show the wrong button here for your bindings now. But X will still work. It will still work for your jump button. Uh, these are going to look a little weird. There is going to be a circle on the three things that we changed. And that's just because of the file that we changed. But your jump button, you can still use just X. Like, you don't have to stall every single time. It just looks that way in the settings. And as you can see, like, if I hit just circle, it'll still jump. But to, in order to stall, you do have to be in the air whenever you click the stall button. But yeah, that's pretty much it. No input lag, no third-party software needed. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, please comment. I will I will help you. I will work this out with you. I will get it going. I love this mechanic. It's so fun to learn and to do. So and I would love for everyone to learn how to do it. So absolutely, feel free to comment and I will get back to you and we will work it out. If you guys made it this far. I definitely appreciate it. And I will talk to you in the next one.